All right, here we go. Uh, just to kind of a little forward, you got to think about uh, how much you grind away at your body each week, all the stress that it is put upon it. And, uh, you know, this is like, I do this every week on my own. I spend about at least an hour of mobility work where I'm just kind of taking care of my body, uh, you know, keeping the, uh, keeping the, the engine running. So uh, if you incorporate some of this stuff a little bit, if you, if you just did the car work into your normal programming, it's done wonders for me. Um, you know, let's just get started. I'm gonna stop talking. Yeah, you guys can go to a tall kneeling position or you can stand up if your knees are sensitive. We're gonna start with our neck, we're gonna do a neck. Uh, we're gonna do thoracic lumbar spine. Uh, we're gonna do some cat and camel and then with some spine segmentation. Then we're gonna move on to our hips and shoulders. It's gonna be good. Uh, so first thing, hands at your side. Uh, think about squeezing your abs and your booty. You right here, that's next to me. Uh, chin is gonna go down to chest. I'm gonna rotate my head on the axis going across my collarbone. I'm gonna bring my chin up to my shoulder. Chin's gonna go up to the sky to as much extension as I can go. I'm gonna bring it all the way to the opposite shoulder. Slide it down and across that collarbone and I'm gonna continue going on that circle. I'll give you guys a little profile shot. So I'm gonna turn to the left, laterally flex, extend up to sky, nice and slow, bring it to the opposite shoulder. Try not to let the shoulders go along, go along for the ride as you guys do this. Kalen Meek, what's up? Kalen Meek, what's up? Joan, Mark, John. Opposite shoulder. We'll do one more rep. Extend up to the sky. Finish in the center. Think about trying to go one mile an hour, guys. Each rep you do, try to explore that, that range of the neck. See if you can open up that circle a little bit bigger. So to rotate to the right, cross the collarbone. Laterally flex that ear to shoulder. Chin goes up to sky. Nice and slow to the opposite shoulder. Drag across that collarbone and continue on to that next rep. Rotate, laterally flex, extend up to the sky. Ooh. Bring it to that shoulder. Roll across that collarbone. Turn, laterally flex, extend up to the sky. And finish. Ooh. Okay, uh, arms are gonna go across the chest. Uh, if I was going to come try to pull your hands off your shoulders, I wouldn't be able to because you're creating tension there. You're going to squeeze your butt. We're just going to flex our back. Okay, we're going to do a couple reps in this position. If you need to watch me first, you can because I'm going to do about five or six reps before we start. But I'm going to flex my back without moving my hips, my lumbar, my thoracic. And all I'm going to do here is twist. So I'm going to rotate without my hips going along for the ride. So the pelvis is going to stay where it is. I'm going to rotate through my spine as far as I can to the left, nice and slow. Then I'm going to rotate to the right as far as I can without my hips turning. Okay? Then I'm going to rotate left. Rotate right. Without the hips moving. So the abs and ass are on. Sorry, butt. Butt, not ass. Then rotate left. And rotate right. Not letting the pelvis go along for the ride. Now from here, we're going to do a side bend. So I'm rotated all the way to the right. I'm going to side bend to the right. So think about bringing my shoulder to my hip. Okay? You're going to feel that left far side oblique turn on. Then from this position, I'm going to extend and rotate at the same time without moving my pelvis or my hips. And I'm going to try to get each vertebrae to contribute to that extension. And I'm going to side bend all the way to the opposite side. Boom. Hold that. Then I'm going to rotate and extend all the way to the opposite side. So from left, right, left to right now. Shoulder comes down to hip without moving my pelvis. Good. Then I'm going to extend and rotate all the way to the other side. Side bend to the left. Now from this position, everyone's to the bend to the left side in the side bend. We're going to flex and then rotate back to where we started. Now I'm going to twist to the right. Side bend to the right, and now I'm gonna rotate into extension, try to get all the vertebrae to contribute. Then I'm gonna side bend left, then I'm gonna rotate into flexion. That's a rounded spine. I'm gonna hold, then I'm gonna twist left now. Then I'm gonna side bend left. 
Oh, then we're gonna rotate into extension, nice and slow. Glutes are still on, abs are still on. Get a side bend to the right, and then rotate into flexion. Shabam, all right? Whew. That's your spine car. Uh, we're gonna go into some cat and camel from quadruped position. We're gonna go, I'm gonna put you on a one minute timer, or Ricky's gonna put us on a one minute timer. So all you're gonna do, we're gonna work on global extension of the spine. So think like the middle of the back is gonna go up as high as you can. Then nice and slow, you're gonna drop that belly to the floor, head goes up, stick your butt out trying to look cute. Then you're gonna round that back. Nice and slow, we're just going for time, not for reps. Try to go one mile an hour, Ricky, you got us? Yep. Cool, Ricky's got us on a timer. Mm. Trying to get as much flexion, extension. Each rep you do, try to get a little bit further. Try to keep the hips over the knees, shoulders over the hands the entire time so you're not rocking your body forward and back. Where are we at, Rick? 35. 35 seconds. Ooh. Remember, we're trying to move whole spine as one big hunk of meat. Middle back goes up. You drop that belly so you go into extension. Get that chest up, squeeze those shoulder blades together to contribute. Ooh. Time. Flex and time. Now, we did global extension. Uh, you know, when you do the global extension, some of those vertebrae that get stuck together, they're going to move as one piece. Now we're going to practice segmenting the spine. So if we're going to go from tailbone to head, head uh, then tailbone to head again, from flexion to extension, we're going to go for two minutes now. Uh, when I do jujitsu practice, I usually sit in the corner of the gym when no one's watching me. I do this for like seven minutes straight. I feel amazing every time I roll when I do that. My back doesn't hurt. Um, uh, this is a, there's a learning curve for this, so just be patient and just kind of pay attention to how you're doing it. You might realize, oh my God, I have no idea how to use my spine or move it or where it is in space. Okay, so we're going to start in that quadruped position again. We're going to go into a fully flexed position. If you need to watch me first, you can. I'm gonna go as slow as I can. I'm gonna slowly start sticking my butt out. So I move my lower lumbar first. That'd be like L5. Then I'm gonna go L4, three, two, one. So I've moved my lumbar. Now I'm gonna go through my thoracic. So I'm gonna go 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now I'm gonna go into my cervical spine, so the neck, so I'm gonna go seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And I'm counting because there's 22 vertebrae in the spine. So now I'm gonna go the opposite way. So I'm gonna start tucking my ass, I'm gonna go five, four, three, two, one. The lumbar is already flexed, now I'm gonna go thoracic, 12, 11, 10, <coughs> nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, then cervical spine, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go nice and slow. I think I'm starting my second rep. Creating a ton of tension with my arms. Trying to visualize those vertebrae moving in my, my mind. My mind palace. Ten more seconds. Three, two, time. <clears throat> all right, now we're gonna go, uh, all you need right now is a wall. Something to kind of put your knee up against, your hands. We're gonna use this one right here. Um, can everyone hear me okay? You know what's played by volume. All right, so we're, we're gonna do, I'll do my left knee first. We're gonna work on our hip car. Before we actually go through the full car, 
we're going to go through some just capsule work. So we're going to externally rotate, internally rotate. Hands are going to go up on wall. Now I'm going to protract my shoulders forward. Left knee is going to go up on wall. And I'm only going to go up as high as I can keep my lower back flat. So knee is going to come up. I'm going to place the tip of my knee on the wall. And I'm pushing into the wall to protract my shoulders, create some stability with my upper body. And then from here, I'm going to bring my, my ankle towards you guys, keeping my knee in place. So I'm going to rotate from this knee. I'm going to turn my foot out towards you guys. It's going to go like this. As far as I can. Okay. Now the inside of my ankle, I'm going to bring it back up towards my chin. I'm going to bring it this way. Rotating just through that femur. Oh, I'm going to hold. I'm going to get you guys your end range. I'll have you fight for a little bit more. Then we're going to internally rotate. Rotating, rotating, rotating. Fight for more. Okay. You guys ready? Ready, Ricky? How long are we going for? We'll go uh, but a minute. We'll go All a minute, right. guys. So you're going to bring the inside of your ankle up towards your chin. So you're going to rotate it externally. You're going to feel your inside hips up turn on. Find your end range and fight for a little more for me. Then we're going to internally rotate. So bring the ankle out towards the outside of your armpit. Fight for a little more. Remember, nothing else in your body is moving except for that, that hip. Gonna externally rotate. Go nice and slow. Find your end range. Fight for a little more. And then internally rotate. Rotating that ankle out towards your armpit. Fight for more. Then externally rotate. Bringing the inside of the ankle up towards your chin. Then internally rotate. Bring the outside of the ankle up towards your armpit. And externally rotate, nice and slow. Bring the inside of the ankle up towards your chin. Fight for a little more range. Internally rotate. Where we at, Rick? Three, two. And fight for a little more. Time. Whew. Hey guys, rotation is like the first thing you're gonna start missing uh, in your hips, especially internally. And like if you lose internal rotation, it's like early signs of. Um, What's that bad thing called? Arthritis. Arthritis. <laughs> or arthritis. Okay. So uh, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna work on getting back more range of motion with internal rotation. So right knee's gonna go up on the wall. I'm gonna protract the shoulders, place my hands on the wall so I create some tension with my upper body. I'm gonna take my leg up into as much flexion, that means knee up towards chest. All right? Abs are nice and tight, glutes tight. I'm going to externally rotate. So now I'm bringing the inside of my ankle up towards my chin. Nice and slow. I'll put a timer on. Externally rotate. So inside ankle comes up towards chin. Find your end range. Fight for a little more. Woo! Internally rotate. The outside ankle is going to go out towards my armpit. Remember, the only thing that's moving right now is my hip. We're going to fight for a little more range. You might feel the outside of your butt cramping up as you do this. And extra, in, externally rotate. So inside ankle comes up towards chin, find your end range, fight for a little more. Now we're going to internally rotate, rotate that ankle out towards the armpit. Now fight for a little more range, get that outside butt to cramp. Woo! Externally rotate, inside ankle comes up towards chin. Woo! 15 fight seconds. for a little more. 15 seconds. Oh. Internally rotate, so outside ankle goes up towards armpit, that knee stays in the same spot. Fight for a little more. <laughs> and externally rotate. Three, two, Find your end range. One. Fight for a little more. And relax. Time. Woo. <clears throat> okay. Move some stuff around here. We're going to go through our hip car now. So I'm going to use the wall again. We're going to do inside legs. I like this leaning position because then I get a lot more glute engagement and this outside leg doesn't get so tired. Wait, did I say glute? Oblique. So, we're going to lean up on our right hand on the wall, or your wall or post or door frame, whatever it is for you. You're going to take your right foot off the ground. This, my left arm is going to go out to the side. I'm going to flex it to create some tension with my upper body. I'm going to take my right foot and try to think about pulling it across my body. Then I'm going to bring that foot all the way up like I'm trying to put it in my mouth. High as I can. Ooh, a little bit higher. Without flexing your lower back, I'm staying nice and tight in my abs. 
Now, like I'm opening a door, that whole leg's gonna open up without the pelvis turning. Keeping that knee high, guys. High, high, high. Ooh, that's as far as I can go. And now, remember how when we were on the wall, that, fol that fulcrum where the knee was touching the wall, we're gonna rotate. If I put my finger on my knee, I'm gonna internally rotate that leg. Outside ankle goes towards my armpit. I'm gonna go as far as I can. Then I'm gonna start kicking back. And then bring my legs together. Bam. Okay. Now I'm gonna open up again like I'm dog going to the restroom in the snow. Open up as far as I can. Now I'm gonna think about rotating from my knee all the way back to the start. Bringing the inside ankle all the way back up into my mouth. In front and back down to the floor. Cool. Now bring that foot across the body. Now raise that whole leg up like you're trying to put your foot in your mouth. Now open up that leg like you're opening a door. We'll go nice and slow and control. Don't turn the pelvis as you do this. Now from there, hold it. Now from where that knee is, rotate. That ankle goes out towards your armpit. Woo! When you get to your end range, start kicking back into extension without moving the pelvis, and then close the legs. Bam. Now we're going to open up that leg like we're an animal. Go to the bathroom. I'm an animal. Okay, pick it up as high as you can. <laughs> And then you're going to rotate inside ankle all the way back to the start. And he's going to lose cross, consciousness in 20 and seconds. down. Oh, my gosh. Woo. Okay, now we're going to do the other side. We're going to do a back shot. Okay. Oh, my God. That was hard. Cool. So, left foot off the floor. You're going to... You still hear me, Rick? Yep. Okay. Left foot off the floor. Bring that foot across your body. Okay. Now flex that whole leg up towards your chest, trying to put that foot in your mouth. Now without turning your pelvis, open up that leg like you're opening a door. Outside ankle is going to turn up towards your armpit, and I'm going to kick back at the same time. That's going to put me into extension. Then close your legs, and then open your leg as far as you can like your dog going to the bathroom, and then rotate all the way back to the start, nice and slow. Put that foot down. Woo. Bring that foot across the body. Raise that leg up into as much flexion as you can do. Now we're going to open that door like we're, wait, open that leg like we're opening a door nice and slow. Open that door. As far as you can. Open that door. Internally rotate so the ankles are turned out towards my armpit. Keeping the knee in place. And extend back. Ooh. Close the leg. Close the door, guys. Now open the leg nice and slow. Notice how close my heel is to my butt. I'm keeping that hamstring engaged. And rotate all the way back to the start. Man. A little breath now. Okay. That's going to con conclude our, uh, our car session. That was intense. That was good. I'm sweating already. Um, we're going to go into our first base position today. We're going to go into a 90-90. Um, we're going to do two different versions. Um, a hard version and then a harder version. So... If the hard version is good, you can stay there. If you want a little more complexity, a um, little bit of a change in the, the stress to the, your hips, uh, you can follow along with me. So all you're going to do, we're going to do, let's do our right leg back first. We're going to get into a 90-90 position. So if my left hip, if you guys are with me, left leg's out in front. It's from a straight line. From the hip to the knee is a straight line. And then from the knee to the foot is a straight line. That one should give you a nice 90 degree angle. In the back leg, you can see my knee is in line with my hip. My foot is in line with my knee. All right? Now, to put my, uh, just to kind of show you guys what external rot internal rotation is, if you kind of lean away from that back leg like I am, now pick this foot up. Keep your knee on the floor. See, you guys see that? Can you see that, Rick? Sweet. Okay, that's internal rotation. Notice how my hip's not moving, my pelvis. It's this whole thigh, this big hunk of meat right here, just rotating that way to pick this foot up. Watch. Then back down. If you can't do that, don't worry. So we're going to put ourselves into our end range for internal rotation. So I'm going to turn and twist into that back leg. Oh. The more I twist into it, the more internal rotation I'm putting my body into. Now, if I try to pick up my foot now, since I'm near or at my end range for internal rotation, like right now, I'm trying to pick my foot up. I'm thinking about it. It's not moving, right? It's because I'm in this position, I'm really weak. At your end range is where you are weakest. Okay? Most injuries happen when you get to your end range and you're not strong there and bad shit happens, bad stuff happens. Okay, so 
Uh, from here, I'm going to start us on a timer. Let's say about another 90 seconds. We're just going to kind of hold this stretch. And if you can turn into the stretch more, I would love it. If you think about that back butt cheek, so my, my right tush, I'm going to think about pulling my right tush to the floor. That should intensify the stretch a little bit. Okay. If your arms are falling asleep, just kind of adjust yourself as you need. All right. If this position is like impossible for some of you people at home, uh, shoot me an, uh, an email after this and I'll tell you, I'll, I can talk you through a couple different positions. Okay, but I'm gonna just gonna go over 90-90 because I feel like everyone has space enough to do this. All right, and as, I, as I'm going, I'm feeling that, 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 that hip open up a little bit so I can kind of rotate into it more, right? We're gonna do three sets of pails and rails. It's just progressive isometric loading. Really, it's a fancy term. Okay, so what we're gonna think about is I'm gonna rotate this whole back foot into the floor this way, right? See that? So as I'm set up, the knee is gonna push down, the shin's gonna push down, but the ankle is gonna push down the hardest. So by the time I'm done, there should be a nice dent in the carpet because my ankle is driving to the floor so hard. I'm gonna ramp us up to about 100%. Once we get there, we're gonna hold it at 100% for about like 15 seconds, and then I'm gonna have you reverse it where you're gonna to try to pick up that back foot. So you're gonna work on this motion now. And since we're at our end range, your foot's probably gonna stay on the floor. The movement's gonna happen in your hip capsule. It's amazing. Okay, we're gonna open up and find new end ranges for internal rotation of your hip. So I'm gonna tell you to pick your foot up. My foot's probably not gonna leave the ground because I'm really, really weak in this position. But in my mind, I'm thinking about rotating the foot off the ground so the change is happening in the hip and also neurologically in your brain. Whew, I know, a lot of heavy stuff. Oh gosh, that's two minutes, guys. So, we're gonna start our first set. So imagine 20%, I'm gonna drive my ankle into the floor. I feel my glute turn on a little bit, my abs are on. I'm bracing with my back hand. Okay, I can't brace this hand because I'm gonna be pointing. Now it's 40%, I'm gonna drive that foot into the floor. Right, let everyone get there. Okay, now I'm gonna drive up to 60%. Okay, now 60% is starting to get hard for me. If Ricky tried to come pick my foot up, my foot's kind of glued to the ground. Now when I go to 80% effort, my whole body starts matching that tension. So my arm, my opposite leg, but this ankle is pushing down the hardest. Okay, guys, if 80 doesn't have any pain and you're feeling good, we're gonna go to 100, we're gonna hold it for 15 seconds. Okay, so 100% drive your ankle into the floor. Whoa. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now reverse it. Try to pick that ankle up without turning your pelvis. 13, 12, 11. You should get this area to cramp up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, and then settle into that stretch, three recovery breaths. Oh my gosh. I got another fun one for you guys. So we're gonna alternate, we're gonna give this back leg a rest, we're gonna keep it there, we're gonna rotate to the front leg. You still see me, Rick? Mm -hmm. We're gonna put that front leg straight out in front. This is called a figure four position. So I'll give you guys a profile. So now you can see my legs out in front. I still have a 90 degree angle <laughs> with my back leg. Is that cool? We're gonna do some end range. <laughs> hip flexion, we're gonna hold it, and then we're gonna do controlled circles. Okay, so kind of like our liftoffs we did on Monday, kind of gave you a, a preface to this. The further forward you go, the harder it is. The more you lean back on that back leg, the easier it is. So I want you get to get in your own position. You don't have to copy me. I wanna make mine hard because I like hard stuff. I'm gonna reach forward a little bit. I'm gonna challenge my, my, my range of motion for hip flexion. Then everyone's gonna pick up their top foot, their front leg, hold, and nice and slow, trace it around a tennis ball. Ricky, where are we at in time, bro? Come on, 20 seconds. Two, five seconds in. Come on, whatever direction you're going, just keep going. Ricky's, when he gets to 20 seconds, he's gonna switch us directions. Try to keep your leg, it doesn't have to be locked out, it can be slightly bent. You keep drawing that circle. We have 20 switch. seconds. And switch directions, oh yeah. <coughs> Here we go. Good 
Where are we at, Rick? You have seven seconds. Three seconds. Two seconds. One. Oh my God. Okay. That was fun. Okay, now you can stay in that figure four if you like. Because now I'm going to do an internal rotation in the back leg, keeping that front leg out in front. Puts a little more of a stress on the hips. Um, makes it more challenging. So if you can hold this figure four, then go into internal rotation on the back leg. Fantastic. If not, go back into a standard 90-90. Okay? Yeah, I used to not be able to do this. Okay, now it's like even harder. I'm like, feel this thing just tightened up so much because of this front leg. Are you guys ready? That was our break, by the way. We're going to work on the back leg again. 20%. Drive that ankle into the floor. Driving down. So rotating that foot into the floor. The knee's pushing to the shin, but the ankle's pushing the hardest. Go up to 40%. 40 feels good. Go to 60. 60 feels good. Go to 80. If 80 feels good, go to 100. Driving the ankle on the floor, trying to dent the surface. Remember, if you guys feel weak in this position, position is completely natural. This is an end range position. It's where your body's at its weakest. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Try to pick that ankle up. If it doesn't move, don't worry. Just try to make it light on the ground. Like if your ankle, my ankle's on a scale right now, and the scale was reading 10 pounds, now it should read zero, wait, point zero one. So I'm trying to take as much weight off my ankle as I can. Try to rotate it for five, four, three, two, and one. Then rotate into that back leg more. Trying to sink that booty to the floor. Hey. Now back to the lead leg. We're gonna do our end range rotations. We're gonna go 10 seconds each direction now, Rick. You guys ready? So remember, find the position where it's challenging for you. I like to point my toe like a dancer. If I was ever to be MTV made, that's what I want to be made into. Are you ready? It's a nice 15 year old reference. <laughs> <laughs> All right, put this off the ground and rotate. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and reverse it. Okay, you gotta slow down your counting, bud. Oh, sorry, 10, nine, eight, seven. I think for once people liked my counting. Three, two, one. Hey guys, oh. shake your legs out if you need to and then switch sides. So remember, my first set, I'm going to 90 90. Okay, this is probably going to feel different than your right side. I did my, my good side first. Okay, I'm going to rotate that back leg by rotating my torso towards the camera into the back leg. Then I'm going to try to get my left butt cheek now to the ground. Or if you're bad with left and right, get whatever legs behind you, try to drive that butt booty to the floor. We'll go a two minute timer. Pause it. Remember the reason why I do these two minute passive stretches, I mean, it's not my opinion, it's science's opinion, I guess. Uh, they've done studies to show that the minimum amount of time required to have a neurological and physiological, physiological change is two minutes. Hence why we do our two minute passive stretch. And then also this allows us to, pa to bypass the stretch reflex mechanism of the brain, which stops your body from going into ranges of motion it shouldn't go to, because it's afraid it can't come back from it. So doing the stretch for two minutes allows us to bypass that stress reflex muscle, which is kind of cool. I never knew that. Um, but it allows us to kind of find new end ranges of motion and, re and re regain range of motion that we've lost. Um, I could probably say this is the most boring of our mobility work to do, but um, it has the highest return for um, health in the hips and your, your knees and your back. Because if your hips aren't rotating the way they should, your body's gonna compensate in some other places, and when that starts happening, that's when you're in trouble. Is that two minutes, Rick? Nope. 40 seconds. Damn it. I was hoping I'd talk for two minutes. 
Oh my, I'm gonna crush your abs so good today, guys. I'm kind of looking forward to it. Who's joining us for abs? Oh. <clears throat> my God. 20 seconds. We'll do a quick shoulder piece, maybe like five minutes after this, and then we'll go right into our ab work. So I'll get you guys, hopefully it'll be like an hour total. Abs, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna crush through it. It's gonna be, it's gonna be easy. Got two minutes. Three, two, okay. one. Okay, now, back leg. Remember how we talked about this? The knee, the shin, and the ankle are pushing together, but the ankle is pushing the hardest. I'm trying to rotate that foot into the floor, keeping the knee in place, okay? We're gonna start out nice and easy. 20% drive that ankle into the floor, okay? Go up to 40%, go up to 60%. Now, if you try to come grab my foot off the ground, it's gonna be glued to the floor because I'm, I'm putting so much pressure. It's like there's a scale underneath my ankle. The scale is saying eight pounds right now. I'm gonna go to 80%, who says 10, and I'm gonna go to 100. Mine's probably gonna say like 15 pounds, well, bam. Right, I'm driving down 15. 13, 12, Top of your pinky 11, toe, bro. 10, what did he say? Top of your pinky toe. I don't know, man. <laughs> Seven, six, I had a bad case of plantar fasciitis on this side. Four, three, two, one, and now <laughs> lift that ankle off the floor. I'm trying to rotate my femur this way, guys. Whoop, that way. 11, 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now relax into that stretch. Take three breath, recovery breaths, rotating into that back leg, trying to get that back butt cheek onto the floor. In slow, out slower. Yeah, your shoulder's falling asleep. Short arms and a long torso, so I can't reach the ground. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, now we're going to figure four. So, lead legs and then go out front. I'll give you a frontal shot. Okay. Okay, remember, first step, we're going for 20 seconds. Ricky will keep us honest. I will not count. Are you guys ready? Ready, Ricky? Mm -hmm. Give us a countdown, Rick. Three, two, and one. And pick that leg up and draw around that tennis ball or golf ball. Or whatever kind of ball that you're imagining in your head right now. I imagine it's different for everyone. Probably the most for D. Is D here today? She is. Oh, yes. Just watching though. Oh. Switch. And switch direction. Ten seconds. Uh, Five, four, three. Come on, Em. Two. Shake it. It's 40. Oh, uh, good. Back up. If you can do the figure four, stay in the figure four. If you're like, man, that's way too intense, Ed, just go back to 90 90. It's all good. If you can't even do 90 90, email me and I'll, I can talk you through something or do a video with you privately. Cool. Remember, that was our break. So we should be ready to go in the second set of the last, this is our last set on this leg. Oh, here we go, guys. 20% drive your ankle into the floor. This one's going to feel good. 20% is easy. Fill up to 40%. Match the rest of your body. 60%. Go up to 80%. Driving that ankle into the floor. Ooh, that's starting to get kind of hard now. We're going to go up to 100% as long as you have no pain right now. And drive that ankle into the floor as hard as you can. 12. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then now try to reverse it. Flip it back and reverse it. Pick that ankle up. See your flipping the refrain yet. 11, 10, look at that, something got it. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and one. Now relax into that stretch. That was a bad one. Three recovery breaths. Okay. 
Okay, let's do our, our end range rotations. So we're gonna Flip. pick up that front leg, 10 seconds each direction. I'm gonna give you a profile shot again. You know, that's what you're waiting for, D. Okay, our frontal, there we go. You ready, buddy? Mm -hmm. Okay, and pick that front leg up, 10 seconds each direction. Switch. And switch. Thank you, Ricky. Time. Oh, there we go. And slowly get out of that position. Oh, my God. And as promised, I want to do a little bit of shoulder work. I'm going to give you guys a uh, profile shot of the shoulder work. I... <sighs> Dumbbells aren't necessary. You can use books, too. I'm just gonna make mine a little bit higher today. Can you see me, Rick? Can you see me? Mm -hmm. Cool, so we're gonna do some uh, shoulder flexion. If you have a stick, it's really nice because it keeps you honest. When you do the, the flexion, you're gonna wanna spread your hands out because it makes it easier to lift your hands up. If you have something to hold on to, I like to go shoulder width is really hard. If, you need, if it's like, man, this is way too intense for me, just widen up your grip. If you wanna elevate, where you're on, that's fine. It just makes it harder. If not, you can still do it from the floor. I'll do it one step from the floor to show you. So you go into shoulder flexion. That's this. We're gonna do a pails and rails just like the, the hip. We're gonna pails with pushing into the floor. I'm gonna be pushing into the weights. So I'm turning on all this muscle in the front of my shoulder. Okay, gonna build up to 100%. Then instead of doing a rails where I'm driving up, we're gonna do lift offs. So we're gonna contract all the stuff behind the shoulder that flexes it, and we're gonna to try to lift off with a straight arm, straight elbow, straight wrist. Is that cool? Yeah, that's cool. All right, so if you don't have blocks to set your thing up on, you can do it on the floor just like so. I'm gonna keep my wrist straight, I'm gonna tuck my pelvis so my back's nice and flat, I'm gonna drive into the floor, 24, 60, 80, 100, and then, my liftoffs are gonna look like this. Lift off, down. Okay, can you see me okay, man? Mm -hmm. All right, the liftoffs just gonna be here, guys. Lift off and down, All right? So I'm just gonna make it more challenging for myself. I'm just gonna elevate what my stick is on. You don't have to do this. You can even go on the ground. You can do it with, just like Emily's got pillows, she's got a band. But if, if you even look back at me, if my hands are on the floor just like this, I can do it just like this, a straight wrist. And then I lift off, boom. Lift off, boom. Trying to keep the elbows straight and arms directly overhead. You have a belly friendly alternative. Belly friendly alternative. Belly friendly alternative for my pregos out there. Put your hands up on a table, go to a collapsed quadruped. So butt's gonna go on ankles. She's gonna set up here. And then from here, it's going to be even easier, harder probably. She's going to push into the table like this for the pails. And then for the liftoffs, she's, she's going to try not to sit up with my hips. I can't even do it. If you sit here and you go to liftoff, Warren, and then your hands don't come off the table, that's okay. It's called a sticky rep. But as long as you're feeling the stuff behind the shoulder turn on, that's awesome. If you need to take your feet off your butt like this to go out and then and lift off like that, this is also acceptable. Just make it to where you're feeling the stuff behind your shoulder contract. For anyone at home, if you want to do that, you can. Is that cool? That's for a belly, like belly sensitive alternative. Let's All do good? It. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, so <clears throat> on the floor, I'll turn my head to the side so you can hear me yelling. What's our time? Okay. Arms locked out. I'm gonna start driving my hands into the ground, 20%. I'm gonna feel the front of my shoulders turning on. I'm gonna go 40%. I'm gonna go 60%. I'm gonna go 80%. And now 100%, driving into the floor. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Keeping everything straight. Lift off. One. <sighs> Lift off. Two. Slowly put your stick back down, nice and gentle, like there's a parachute attached to it. Lift off. Three. Lift off. Four. 
Lift off. Five. Lift off. Six. Lift off. Seven. Lift off. Eight. Lift off. Nine. Lift off. Ten. Lift off. Eleven. Lift off. Twelve. Lift off. Thirteen. Lift off. Fourteen. Lift off. Fifteen. Oh my god. Alright. We'll take a little intermission break. We'll start our next set in about 45 seconds. If some of you are asking like, what the hell is this good for? Um, well, if any of you guys like to do power jerks or split jerks or shoulder press with the barbell overhead, this is an excellent exercise to develop shoulder flexion. That's the ability to lock out overhead without having to compensate with the rib cage and the lower back, so spine. So you should be able to press overhead, hand in, in, in line with ear without extend, overextending through the rib cage or lower back. Um, and it's just like a healthy joint. You should have the ability to raise your arm overhead without doing any of those things with the lower body. But I'd, uh, argue, I'd, uh, I'd argue that building better shoulder flexion would make you a better person too. So. No? Guys. <laughs> this is the mic on. <laughs> In the room goes quiet. Alright, next set. Oh. Okay. Like if you want to do a like a handstand, I know there's a girl, she's a three-letter name, wants to do handstands. Having the ability to have more shoulder flexion makes it easier to do handstands as well. Are you ready? Next set. Step back up. Arms locked out, wrist straight. We're gonna start with our pails first. 20%, drive those hands into the floor. 40%, 60, 80, and 100. Go. 13, 12, 15, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 3, 2, 1. That's 15 seconds, now lift off. One, and lift off. Two, lift off. Three, lift off. Four, lift off. Five, lift off. Six, lift off. Seven, lift off. Eight, lift off. Nine, lift off. Ten, lift off. Eleven, lift off. Twelve, Lift off, 13, lift off, 14, lift off, 15. Oh, that's it. Oof. Time for abs. Well, I'm gonna cut a little short, guys. I didn't want to do some other shoulder stuff, but well, it's 15 minute abs right now. Hopefully that felt good for you guys. Uh, I'm gonna show you a quick bit, uh, picture of the board, but then ideally I'd, I would just like you to move with me. If you can't keep up with the volume we're doing, just stop whenever you need to, and then when I restart, you just start back up wherever I'm at. Sound good? Six packs at the end of quarantine by doing this. Are right, you guys ready? We're gonna do three sets of our part A to start. We're gonna do plank ups. 60 seconds of work, 30 seconds of rest. I can put this where I can see it. So for the plank ups, all you need is a uh, elevated surface. You can literally use anything. It doesn't have to be super high. I'm gonna pick something a little bit higher. You're gonna go into the top of your push up, then nice and slow, you put your hand on the surface, boom, other hand goes up, and then you go back down to the floor. So right hand goes up, left hand goes up, right hand goes down, left hand goes down. In the meanwhile, your whole body is trying not to rotate. Man, dude, that is crazy, I can't do that, you're crazy. Just put your hands out in front, I get, I get, you're in the top of a push-up, and then just touch, and then switch. Touch, 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 okay? If that's hard, just hold the plank for 60 seconds. Um, really important, lower back should be flexed. So if you're sticking your butt out like this, you have this big you know, cannon in your lower back, that's bad news bears. Squeeze your butt, suck that hip in, the lower back remains flat the entire time. 
If you can't hold this position while you're doing this exercise, you're not ready to do the plank ups. Just hold the plank. And practice tilting that pelvis. If you still can't tilt your pelvis in the top of your push up, go to your knees. And then practice flexing the butt, squeezing the abs, and hold this for, you know, 60 seconds. This is the most important thing here. If you don't have this, it doesn't matter what else you're doing. You're not going to be working your abs or your core. Cool? I'm gonna, Ricky's going to put a timer on for me. Going to go for 60 seconds. doesn't matter how many reps you do. Um, just try to move with quality. Coolness? Ready, Ricky? Mm-hmm. Cool. Let's do it. She's just talking about the workout. No. Sorry, sorry. All right, we're gonna start the timer in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Sixty seconds, guys. Sixty seconds. Fifteen seconds. There's Wolo Verbi. There she is. 20 seconds in. And switch which hand goes up first too, guys. I forgot to say that. Halfway there, guys. Nice Halfway you there. Get shoulders, you get triceps, and you get everyone's favorite, the abs. I feel like I get a little manic when I do this abs stuff. 20 seconds. <sighs> Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. That was hard. I thought it was gonna be. It's Thirty second rest, guys. Use the couch. For those of you that didn't see the workout, we're doing three sets there. Use the couch. Thirty second rest in between each set. Follow along. Fifteen seconds. Are you ready? Three, two, one, let's go. <laughs> like Notice you can use the couch. <laughs> Try to keep a flat back. Twenty seconds in. Halfway. Twenty more seconds, guys. Ten seconds. Five, four, three. Two, rest. Fifteen seconds. Set number three coming up. Last set. Five, four, three, two. Set number three, coming up, last set. Twenty seconds. Thirty seconds. Forty. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. Come on, guys, keep it up. Keep moving. Five, four, three, two. Rest. Part A is done.
Okay. Next part, I'll give you a frontal, I'll give you a profile. We're gonna do a candlestick. You're just gonna roll back, reach up, feet go down, point, touch the toes. You're gonna candlestick again. When you come out, you go to a straddle, and it's sunshine. Sunshine. Boom. Back up to the candlestick. Back up to the sit up. That's right, number two. Candlestick. Out to a straddle. Sunshine. Cool. So, candlestick to a sit up, candlestick to a straddle, crunch, crunch. Squeezing those obliques as you bring that elbow into the leg. Is that cool? It's like, oh my god, the other way I can do a candlestick, just lean back, touch your hands, touch, lean back, touch your hands, straddle. Okay, we're just doing any version of rocking back. You guys ready? We're gonna do eight reps of each. Once I'm done, you're done. You gonna need to stop early, stop early. That's enough of a break. Let's do it. Here we go. Candlestick. Sit up. Candlestick. Straddle. Sunshine. Boom. Candlestick. Sit up. Candlestick. Straddle. Candlestick, sit up, this is three. Candlestick, sunshine, Ooh. candlestick, sit up, this is four. Candlestick, straddle, sunshine. Ooh. Sit up, candlestick, sunshine. Ooh. Candlestick, sit up, candlestick. Straddle. I'll do the modified version a couple times. Sit up. Candlestick. Straddle. Boom. Candlestick. Sit up. This is seven. Candlestick. Straddle. Candlestick. Sit up. Candlestick. Straddle. Sunshine. Bam. Rest. Whew. That guy's kind of hard. We're gonna do a short break, guys. It's 30 seconds. Oh, I can't wait to do the next one with you guys. Fifteen seconds. You got Elise on. Elisa. Elise. Elise. What's up, Elise? Five, four, three, two, one. Candlestick. Sit up. Candlestick. Sunshine. How many? This is six. Two more, guys. Thirty seconds. Guys, that, that candlestick, trying to reach those toes up to the sky, get your glutes and your abs to fire even more. It's kind of like doing a hollow rock position. This is the candlestick essentially. Check it out. Boom. Is that cool? <laughs> <laughs> last set? Yep, last set. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Candlestick. Sit up. Candlestick. Sunshine. Candlestick. Sit up. Candlestick. Sunshine. You guys are all gonna walk around going, candlestick, sunshine, candlestick, sunshine. What number? This is five. 
Rep six. On to seven. Last rep. Sunshine Ugh. and done. Oh. oh, now my favorite one. We're gonna do like a little bit of ladder. So we're gonna do one of each, two of each, three of each, four of each, five of each, then we're gonna rest. Damn, yeah, we gotta do both sides too. This will be good. So we're gonna rest after we do our opposite side. So you're gonna be on your side. We're gonna do a side tuck up. This hand kind of reach out forward and pushing into the floor. So now all this is off the floor. It's just my hip bones really there. Legs are off the floor. I'm gonna tuck up, V up. Tuck up, V up. Woo, this thing's gonna be awesome for this guy right here. If you're like, oh my God, Ed, this is like insane. You're a freaking psycho. Put the top bottom leg on the floor. Top leg will tuck up. Top leg will V up. If you can do it with that bottom leg, it's on, off the ground, on the ground. If you're like, dude, I'm legit ab dude, or girl, go both feet off the ground, post yourself up with this arm, and we're gonna tuck up, V up. You're gonna destroy your obliques right now. We're gonna do one of each, two of each, three of each, four of each, five of each. I will try to tempo myself to pace it a little more. I'll try not to go fast, but if it starts getting really hard, I'm probably gonna wanna speed up so I don't have to hold it for so long. Okay, this is gonna be a failure. This is gonna be the hardest part of the workout here. Okay, we're gonna do three sets on each side. Okay, so we're gonna go one and one. So tuck up, one, V up, one, tuck up, two, V up, two, oh, tuck up, three, V up, three, tuck up, four. V up, four, one, two, three, four, tuck up, five, one, two, three, four, five, V up, five, one, two, three, four, five, oh, I should destroy that right oblique, holy crap, where are you left, triple side you started with, two sides, post yourself up, legs off the ground, I can put this hand up to get in sync with my legs, Tuck up. Oh, this side's way harder. V up. Two. Three. One. Two. Three. One. Two. Three. Four. One. Two. Three. Four. Holy crap, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Well, I found that if I put my elbow on the floor, way easier. If you take that elbow off the floor and post it on your hand only, so much harder. We're gonna do a one minute break. Ay, ay, ay. Two more sets. How's that feeling, guys? Nothing. Don't sweat my, my butt off right now. Dude, what, monitoring my language is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom's watching. Shit is good. Is Grace They're crushing it. Too? Grace, you out there? Grace Marie. We got Melissa, Martha, hey guys, Elise. That's about a minute break. Shana, we'll go back to the right side first. Lauren. Never. You post up, makes it way harder. If you need to go to your elbow, go to your elbow, but hand makes it way harder. And one, one, two, 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 three. Come on, Ems. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. And I know how Richard Simmons feels like. Come on, ladies, two. Three and four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, 
Besides, hey. Did you miss the set? No. Yeah. Right into it. Let's talk in. Let's go. More crunching. Let's one. go. One. Since I got the governor over here. Two. One. Two. One. Two. One. Two. Three. Slow down. One. Two. Pick up both legs. Three. Squeeze that oblique as you tuck. One. Two. Three. This is number four right here. Four. Four V-ups. One. Two, three, four, uh, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Uh. If you're not feeling it, you're feeling it, at least. Yeah, but it's, I feel like I'm still not doing it. I don't know. I feel it. Um. I'm fine if I if I lay here, it's a little easier. So I lean back a little bit and then I compress shoulder to hip. So now this is flex. Do you have a hard time bouncing or do you want to? I have hard that's why I'm posting up with this hand. Like I'm yeah. putting this hand here. So now feel that now I'm more this on. If you have trouble feeling this in your oblique guys, you have to balance on that back of the glute. So if I turn her sideways for you guys, I'm gonna post out in front. Now I'm gonna roll my hip back. Then drive into the floor. So see how my whole body came up as one piece? So feet come up, shoulders come up. Watch. Bam. Now my oblique is under contraction now. It's working to hold my body up. That's so different. So it's okay to be on your butt a little yep. bit. Oh, okay. I thought yeah. it was supposed to stay up more forward. If, you go, if I go this way, I totally disengage. It's really easy. So if you lean back a little more, that allow you to fire your oblique even more. That's a letter. Yeah, I thought I was trying to stay forward. Right. Set number three. Okay, here we go. It's our first time running these. Here we go. And one. One. Two. 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 Three. Three. One. Two. Three. One. Two. Three. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Ah, uh, two sides. One, one. Come on. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Last five. One, two, three, four. Five. Ah. Last bit. Last bit. We're going to do alternating single leg V-ups. We're going to do 50 on each leg. We're going to do 100 for time. You can alternate. You can do 25, 25, 25, 25. I'm going to alternate. I'm going to attempt to go unbroken. Not sure how this will go. If you can't sit up all the way, don't worry. Just sit up as much as you can. If your leg isn't perfectly straight, don't worry. Do as best you can. Um, if you need to do alternating tuck ups like this, that's fine. If the B up is too hard, just do a tuck up like this. Okay? So modify as needed, or even just doing 100 crunches. All right, if you've never done ab work before, this is pretty, probably a pretty intense session for you. This is our finisher. We're gonna time it, okay? So you're gonna be like more of explosive, fast, try to get it done as quickly as possible. Full competition, let me know your times. We're gonna start in five, four, three, two, one, hit it.
100 Unbroken. You're watching it live. You're watching it live. It's happening. It's happening. Ow. One number. One number. He doesn't want to tell us. There you go. He's on 60. He's got 40 more, guys. He's got 40 more. Keep going, guys. We got 100 reps. Stay with him. Stay with him. Go on, guys. Get to 100. Get to 100. Come on. Keep going. Keep reaching up. Yeah. One forty-five in, guys. Get it done. Get it done. Come on, Em. What number you on, Em? Oh. Not good. What Forty-five. Good. This is really painful. Keep going. Really burning. Get in touch up. Spotify, keep moving. No. <laughs> nah. We're two and a half minutes in, guys. Five minute cutoff. She's feeling it. She's feeling it. Emily's getting ripped. Waiting for Emily to start again. Follow along, guys. We're three minutes in. We got two minutes left. You got it, man. Come on. Less than two minutes remaining, guys. Less than two minutes remaining. Nice, Rita. She's feeling it, but she's not going to give up. She has 90 seconds left. What number you want, Em? 30 more. Come on. Let's go. Come on, Emily. Let's go. 30 more. There you go, Em. Come on, Em. Nice, Martha. What's up, Jess? Go, Em. A little over a minute left, guys. A little over a minute left. Nice, Nova. Mark's done. We got one minute left. One minute left. Get it done. Good job, Mark. Yeah, Dean. Robin. That's how we do it. Come on. Come on, Amos. You got it. You got like 50 watch. seconds, I'm babe. Going. You're not failing. You can do it, Em. You only We're fail if you, you do on. it if you quit. My mom you says, go. you can do it, Emily. 40 seconds. There you go. What number? We're almost there. We're almost, almost done. There. Mom, you already finished? Super modified, but done. That's okay. Good job, Shauna. That's how you got to do it. Uh, Back to your gymnastics days, huh, Shauna? Six packs in 30 days, guys. Abs every day. Good. 10 seconds to spare, 450. Beautiful. Good job, guys. Guys, I don't know how much... Uh, I almost like implore you to uh, take the mobility work serious. Um, if you're having any kind of shortcomings in the gym with any kind of exercises, you know, you keep doing the same thing over and over. You keep doing what you do, you keep getting what you get. So adding in the mobility work, it's been the biggest change for me in the last year. Um, like night and day difference between when I wake up not being in pain because I slept on my shoulder wrong. Um, knowing what I can do to fix my joints, kind of assessing myself. 
it's just if you just start with the car work that we did at the very beginning of the, of the session you just did that uh before your pre-workout or is it your own morning routine which is kind of like what i do um i feel like if you'd write me a thank you card in 10 years if you never did anything else i ever told you to do except for that you write me a thank you card in 10 years saying thank you for making me do the cars because i feel amazing um thanks for tuning in today sorry i went a little bit longer but i figured since no one really has anything to do anyways i can stretch it Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you next Saturday. Remember, abs every day, except for Sundays. That's it. And John, we do uh, workouts Monday through Friday at 7 a.m. and 4.30 p.m., 9 a.m. on Saturday, and days off on Sunday. So there's no workout tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Have a good weekend. Get at your mimosas.